here we will solve some problems on forces and equilibrium Newton's law see all of you know that uh, if the total force on a body is equal to 0 it is at rest or rather on a particle if the net force on a particle is equal to 0 then it will be in equilibrium now say suppose this one say uh, this block and this is a string now it is acting upon by forces this mg from earth and t is tension of the rope see tension in the rope is pulling force of rope tension of rope is its pulling force rope can pull only it cannot push rod can pull and push both so tension of rope is is its pulling force okay so for this body you can draw the free body diagram this is very important free body diagram free body diagram abbreviated as fbd that is the diagram where diagram where uh, the body and the forces on it are drawn nothing else is drawn so here i'll draw for this this body and the forces mg and t upward okay so this body is in equilibrium so body in equilibrium we will do, uh, deal mostly for equilibrium problems body in equilibrium means the net force is equal to zero net force on the body is equal to zero this we know from newton's law net force is equal to zero means if you can uh, draw this so these two vectors their sum is equal to zero when is the sum of these two vectors equal to zero see their direction is like this this t upward and mg downward obviously t is equal to mg see they are not vectorially equal see vectorially it's if you write as vectors t plus mg vector is equal to zero but we are dealing with magnitude this is magnitude of tension t this is magnitude of the weight mg okay suppose this problem so there are two strings like this so this angle between the strings is 120 degree and there is a block a block having a weight equal to 400 newton that means the mass of the block is 40 kg if g is 10 then this is the weight so fine so these are absolutely equal right so i mean these two ropes are absolutely symmetric it makes 60 degree each okay so find tension in each rope find tension in each rope okay so the tensions in the ropes will act like this they will pull and these two from symmetry you know that tensions will be equal in both the ropes so you can proceed with the diagram here so the free body diagram is this see these are the forces 400 and that's t here 60 degree with vertical and again t here 60 degree with vertical so if you like you can apply that i think similar problem we have done but uh, we have to do it more than once to get used to this is quite a new thing right. x and y so this uh, vector t say it's vectorial it's t1 right vectorial it's t1 and vectorial it's t2 okay how
how do you write t1 as this is this is a component t cos 60 t by 2 and this component is uh, root 3 t by 2 okay that's again t by 2 and this is root 3 t by 2 okay. okay so the sum of these three forces this this and this force is 0 so i'll write it vectorially this uh, t1 or see t1 plus t2 plus say this weight w vector is equal to 0 their vector sum is 0 for equilibrium now t1 t1 i can write as root 3 by 2 t i cap plus t by 2 j cap okay t2 is uh, then here minus root 3 t by 2 i cap plus t by 2 j cap and this is w is minus 400 times j cap is equal to 0 okay so there you go this will cancel so there you have t j cap minus 400 j cap is equal to 0 so t is 400 400 newton now this same problem you could have solved it by the polygon rule there it is t magnitude t vectoriality one magnitude is t okay that's 60 degree t again vectorially this is t1 this is t2 and this is 400 newton magnitude and vectorially it's w so you know t1 plus t2 plus w see it doesn't matter you can write t1 plus w plus t2 or t2 plus w plus t1 whatever is order doesn't matter okay so their sum is zero so we will apply the polygon rule here polygon rule so for a null vector for a zero vector the the sum i mean the the head of the last vector will coincide with tail of the first vector so suppose t1 is our first vector t1 that's 60 degree this is a t1 magnitude is t and then second vector is t2 again a vertical line it makes 60 degree with this part this particle this particle 60 degree again so that's t2 magnitude is t and this should be w w should be like this their sum is zero their sum is zero means if the sum of vectors is a closed polygon then as if the sum of vectors is zero then they form a closed polygon that's 400 so that's 60 this is also 60 and if you get these triangles if you get such triangles you know in a triangle there is a nice law known as the sine law or the sine rule suppose in a triangle there you have a side a side b side c now the angle opposite to side a is a capital a opposite to side b is capital b opposite to side c is capital c then by sine rule you know a by sine of a equal to b by sine of b equal to c by sine of c c is a small c so this is the sine rule so we can apply the sine rule here if you like it is an easy one so this is 400 this is t this is also t so you need to find out t so this is 60 60 means uh, this has to be 120 right no uh, 
60 180 180 oh that's also 60 oh you need nothing actually it it becomes an equilateral triangle see this is 60 this is 60 oh my god so that's also 60 so this t is equal to t is equal to 400 yes 400 newton okay. no in in a so here it forms an equilateral triangle if it doesn't form so in any other triangle you can consider to use this sign law see in the next problem this will be problem number seven problem number seven says ceiling and this block 40 kg say g equal to 10 meter per second square so that's 400 newton 400 newton and the strings are like this this uh, string another string like this okay this makes angle 60 degree this makes 60 degree and this makes 30 degree okay so this tension is t1 this tension is t2 you need to find t1 and t2 find tensions t1 and t2 in the strings okay so we will apply uh, polygon law here right the vector sum see t1 plus t2 t1 plus t2 plus w is equal to 0 so they will form a closed polygon okay so here i wish to apply this polygon rule now Uh, this t1 the first vector will be t1 and the tail of the last vector will coincide with this point that's t1 magnitude is also t1 it's not known this angle is 30 degree okay now this this vector tail here so this should make 60 degree so this is also 30 degree so that is 60 degree means like this oh boy it forms 90 degree it doesn't matter if you are uh, not expert at making diagrams that is why you have those sign rules okay so that's 400 and this is t2 okay so that's 60 and this is 30 and this whole angle is 90 degree obviously it forms a it uh, it's it's a right angle triangle by the way so we are determined uh, to apply sign draw so t1 i write like this t1 divided by sine of 30 equal to t2 divided by sine of 60 equal to 400 divided by sine of 90 so t1 equal to 400 sine 30 that's 200 newton and t2 equal to 400 sine 60 sine 60 is root 3 by 2 so it's 200 root 3 newton will solve in a different way also the same problem okay. so this is 400 that's t1 this is t2 and these angles are given 30 degree and this is 60 degree okay 
so we will resolve it into components and then add ok. So here I, I will not use that i cap and j cap again I will do it in a more shorter way this so these components become t1 cosine 30 and this component become t1 sin 30 ok. So that is this component becomes t2 cosine 60 and this becomes t2 sin 60 ok. So let us look at the net force on the body. So you know the x and y components will add separately this is t1 cos 30 and from here you have t2 cos 60. So this is t2 sin 60 plus t1 sin 30 t1 sin 30 and this is 400. So if a vector is 0 see if a vector is 0 suppose a vector a is 0 that means its x component is 0 its y component is 0 if it has at all any z component that is also I mean the x component is 0 y is 0 and z is 0 uh, how can it have a z component it, it, it has no component if a vector is 0 it has got no components all its components is 0 that means this force will balance this and this force will balance this. So this T1 cos 30 equal to T2 cos 60 and T, uh, T1 sin 30 plus T2 sin 60 equal to 400. These two equations we have to solve and uh, here you can substitute here. So this is equation 1, equation 2, say T1 you can substitute cos 60 is uh, sorry, sin 30 right. So T1 equal to T2 into sin 30 by cos 30. So T2 by root 3. So I will substitute here T1, T2 by root 3 times sin 30. I am substituting in equation 2 plus T2 that 2 equal to 400 okay. therefore t2 multiplied by here you have but 4 right and here you have 2 root 3 is equal to 400 implies t2 equal to 200 root 3 t2 equal to 200 root 3 and hence uh, t1 also you can find from here t1 is 200 <clears throat> so this was problem number 7 now problem number 8 problem number 8 see its weight is again 400 newton that is mass is 40 kg have a string here also it attached to the wall this string is attached to the ceiling and uh, this angle happens to be 60 degree and this tension is t1 this tension is t2 so find the tensions t1 and t2 and t2 if the block is in equilibrium obviously block is in equilibrium right now this weight of the block is 400 newton it's given so here which method you will apply you decide 
whatever you decide here i will apply the polygon rule and the vector sum is zero that means the three vectors will i mean the head of the last vector will coincide with tail of the last vector tail of the first vector so that's t2 here then t1 where it goes t1 and that's 400 400 newton this is 60 degree i could have done it a different way say instead of t2 plus t1 plus w is equal to 0 i could have done uh, t2 plus w plus t1 equal to 0 that would be like this t2 say if i draw here t2 plus w plus t1 then t1 would be here same thing however so this it forms a triangle there it's a right angle triangle so t2 see 400 400 equal to t1 times sine 60 therefore t1 equal to this is 800 by root 3 and t2 equal to 400 by root 3 okay if you want you can resolving into components and solves but i'll just show you no here i won't write uh, this i cap and j cap again this is t2 so it's determined that we are i mean whether you write i cap and j cap or not you have to resolve into components in this component method so you have to consider axis you may not write that i cap and j cap again but these two are the axis and in these directions you will resolve so this t2 is already in this x axis direction so there it is 400 and there it is t1 making angle 60 degree okay so this is t1 by 2 and this is t1 sine 60 so t1 root 3 by 2 so you have these two components will cancel t1 by 2 equal to t2 that's equation 1 and this t1 root 3 by 2 equal to 400 equation 2 therefore t1 equal to 800 by root 3 newton and t2 equal to 400 by root 3 newton